Some of you may know that I used to be a pretty good sized fella. Uh, I got into grappling, kind of had some injuries and things, and uh, I got up to around 240 pounds, 240 ish pounds. Uh, whenever I got started getting back into grappling, inverting was the thing, the popular thing to do. Uh, whenever I kind of left grappling, it wasn't. It was everything was more, uh, more about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu trying to prove itself as the dominant form of uh, of self-defense. So, and inverting typically doesn't kind of help that. So, afterwards, sport style of grappling had become more popular, and whenever I returned, I noticed that things had changed a lot. There was a lot more this inverting, this concept of being inverted. Uh, it's pretty popular, and I wanted to learn how to do it. But at 240 pounds, let me tell you some issues that I have. I would get to right about here, and I would start feeling the weight of my stomach pressing on my chest, and uh, internally pressing on my lungs, and making it very, very hard to breathe. Uh, that's an issue, that's a weight issue, that's not a flexibility issue. So, what I'm saying is if you've got a spare tar around your waist, which I had, so it, it makes inverting very difficult, no matter what your flexibility is, okay? It, uh, simply weight being compressed on your chest by your hips. So, if that is your issue, then being able to place your feet on the mat behind you, like this, is going to be hard. Don't fret! Uh, I have some friends that invert and are very successful being inverted, but they don't put their, they don't spend much time with their feet on the mat. And they very rarely have an angle where the person is directly uh, over them or, or a place where they're getting stacked. Uh, there's a popular video where a guy bounces inverted towards somebody, and I'm not going to attempt that because it's just crazy. But they don't do stuff like that. They use their, uh, their girth here as a benefit. You can't compress that. So what they tend to do is they tend to be more on their back and they use the solidness of the position. If I've got girth right here, you're not going to compress it and flatten my legs out on the mat, okay? And it's, that goes for your opponent as well. He may be trying to push your legs down to pass that way, but he won't be able to. This is just a matter of material. You can't compress it. So, if that's your issue, then to start with, get used to bracing and moving here. You're still going to work on your flexibility, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But you're not going to get depressed and, and give up on the idea of ever being able to invert because... You just simply can't. Understand the reason why. Understand what your limitation is based upon. Okay? And instead of using that limitation as something to fret about and say, oh crap, I can't invert. I'm never going to be able to invert. My life sucks. Just work with what you got. Okay? And I was there. Totally understand it. Okay? So don't, don't, uh, don't judge. Don't like think that I don't know what I'm talking about here because I completely do. I was there, I understand it. It's going to end, in the end, it's going to make you a better, uh, better with your grappling, your in, in, inverting. So, let's get it past all that. We got that out of the way. Boom, we blew it up. Now, we're getting into some things to help you. What we got? Eh, I promise I will shut up now. First exercise. Instead of doing this, I'm going to take one leg, swing it up to the side. While I'm doing this, notice I'm not struggling to get my foot to the mat. I'm just swinging my leg up and I'm going side to the side with it. You don't want to roll up to the point that you're on your neck. You just roll up where you're comfortable, okay? This isn't, uh, don't force it. You're going to feel a little pull, that's okay. Now, if you want to hold it a little bit more to the side and uh, make this another after you warm up a little bit this way, I like to pull the legs to the side. 
And this is something I've been that I started doing, like I said, whenever I was a lot heavier. Eventually, eventually, what you'll end up doing is uh, being able to throw your leg all the way up into the side. And as you get more comfortable with it, be more ballistic with it. I love the word ballistic. So you'll be... My phone. The reason I want you to be ballistic is this. Sorry, I'm by. The reason I want you, uh, the reason I want you to be ballistic is this. Whenever someone tries to pass your guard, a lot of times they don't just do it gently. They grab your leg and they throw it as far as they can. Well, they shove it down as far as they can. And once your foot gets to the mat, it shouldn't go no further. So from here. This is, this is somebody that's throwing my leg to the side. My foot gets to the mat. That way it stops it from going any further. Okay? And notice that whenever I'm doing this, I'm still able to talk the whole time. My dog Jazzy, she's wanting to come out on the mat. Girl, I've already mocked. No, I'm sorry. Go on. No, go on. No, stay. Stay. I'll show you my little baby here in a second. That's one of the stretches that greatly helped my inverting. Uh, another one of the stretches is uh, to really push my legs to the side. And this is, uh, this is, this is something that you're going to do a little after you progress it a little bit more. Okay? So, we're going to push our legs all the way to the side and put it beside our shoulder. Notice I'm using my hand to help push. And I'm using my shoulder. Also, in the beginning with some of your inversions, for me, I couldn't breathe whenever I inverted. Uh, somebody, if they wanted to, could have probably held me in an inverted state and I would eventually probably passed out. Because I would have to exhale as I threw my legs up. Think of this the same as whenever you're punching, uncorking a punch or whatever. Whenever you rotate your body, if you breathe out, it's, uh, if you breathe in, first of all, it's like having a top on a bottle. I know this isn't really related to inverting, but it kind of is too. Uh, say I'm punching, boom, and uh, there's a bottle, okay? My lungs are this bottle, and it's got a top on it. It's like a two liter bottle with a top on it. And you go to twist it. Whenever you twist, that air is compressed. Whenever you invert, it's the same thing, especially if you're heavy. Uh, if you're not heavy, you don't have that girth to push up against that, uh, up against your lungs, up against that bottle, okay? So, if you exhale, whenever you're throwing your legs up, that can help with your flexibility. You'll still have the, the problem of the weight, but, You'll find that breathing out as you do this ballistic mo this ballistic motion will uh, will help a little bit too. Uh, inverting is fun, but please, please, please make sure that you don't invert on your neck. That's a mistake that I started making early on, and uh, I already had some issues with uh, neck problems before, and that really made it a lot worse. So don't do that. Okay, I made that mistake, so you don't have to. Anyway, thanks guys. And I'll show you my baby doll here, Jazzy. What's up, Jazzy? What's up, Jazzy? This is Lady J. Off the mat. This is Jasmine. She's my Doberman. She's a good girl. Jazzy, you gonna come up here? Say hi to people. Say hi. Or don't say hi. Anyway, come here. Yeah, this is her. Look up for the camera. Look up. Look up for the camera. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. Thanks for watching.